Wire Wizard series of videos. In this video I'm going to explain how to connect an extension socket to a BT master socket, the tools you'll need and how to do it. First of all, start by removing the front of the BT master socket, keeping the tiny little screws to one side in a safe place as you'll need them later. Inside the BT master socket you'll find termination points. These points are where we connect the wires using a punch down tool. Once your extension cable is laid in the building, you'll need to bear back some of the end, taking off about an inch of sheathing or insulation. Some people call it sheathing, some call it insulation. You'll find your conductive wires inside and a piece of string. The piece of string is used to draw back a little bit more of the insulation without causing damage to any of the conductors. Once you've drawn back the string, cut off the excess using a pair of side cutters and get rid of the string. You then need to take the blue pair from the bunch and the single orange wire. Some BT cables have four wires inside, some have six, and this particular one is known as a four pair, which has eight wires inside. Bring the wires apart slightly. On the back of the BT socket, you'll notice that there are numbers relating to the pins. In this instance, it's five, three, and two. The orange wire goes on to pin three. This allows the extension socket to ring once we're all connected up. Using a suitable punch down tool, punch the cable in place. On pin two goes the dark blue wire. Same applies using a suitable punch down tool, connect into position. And on pin five is the white blue wire. The punch down tool itself comes with the blade connected, which trims the wire to length sits it in the IDC connection. Curl up any last pieces of stray wire so it fits back into the BT socket without any problems. Once this is done, you place the wire into the front of the socket as such, turn the socket into position and push it down. Using the screws we took out earlier, reconnect and screw down tightly. Making the assumption that your cable is already laid in place, now to the extension socket end. In the extension socket, you will find more pins than you found inside the master socket, but the numbers correspond to the numbers that you have in the master socket. In this instance, numbers 2, 5 and 3. You will need to break out a tiny section of the socket. Most back boxes come with a small breakout that you can use with a small pair of cutters to make a little hole in the bottom. Pass the cable into the socket and at this end repeat the procedure you did at the last end. Bear off a little bit of the sheathing Once the conductors are exposed, cut off any excess plastic and cables. Right, at this end, your contents of the packet should have two screws and a small cable tie. Pass the cable tie through the holder provided in the bottom of the socket. Put the cable into the socket and close down tight the cable tie on stone.
myself the excess of the cable tie. Now we're able to connect up the cables inside the telephone socket. The orange wire goes onto pin 3 using a punch down tool. Connect up. The blue wire goes onto pin 2. And the white blue wire goes onto pin 5. You may want to make a slightly nicer job than this. If that's the case, you can move the orange wire onto pin 4 and punch it down. You can then terminate the green pair, dark green onto pin 1. And the light green onto pin 6. These wires aren't actually conductive at this moment in time, but it does make a nice job of the socket. Any excess cables you have, we suggest you just wrap them around the end of a screwdriver and make a little curve out of them. Once you've finished your socket, you should have that pin out. Now, close up the socket. The screws from the bag that the socket comes with. <laughs> he says, and screw into place using a small flat bladed screwdriver. Tighten down the socket. any excess materials from your working area and there you have it one extension socket connected to a VT master socket the only thing left to do now is to plug a telephone in and test it the easiest way of making a test is once you've plugged a telephone in is to dial the VT ring back number this is 17070 follow the instructions thank you for watching the Wire Wizard series of videos